They were a staple of our misspent youth and our love for the game. We collected baseball cards. I grew up doing the same thing, you know, hoping to get, you know, a certain player his card. And when you when you pull his card out of a pack, you're you're excited. I mean, there's nothing better than that. Yeah. At that time, King Griffey Jr. was my guy that I wanted. I wanted to collect every card that he had. Now those collectors are players and their picture is on the card. That's a little bit of the dream, you know, the dream obviously is to, you know, you didn't always want to have a have a baseball card, but you wanted to get to the big leagues and that's part of it. The Tops people came to see the Reds earlier this week and they were in the clubhouse. They brought their new cards and they laid out a bunch of packs right in the middle of the clubhouse on a table. Chris Heisey walked over. First one he grabbed, ripped it open, looked it at the card, and there he was. How lucky can you get? Dusty Baker remembered his rookie card from 1971 with Don Baylor and Tom Pachorek. He got paid $500 by Tops and he bought a set of golf clubs. Years ago, players posed for pictures in training camp, but now there are action shots, sometimes memorable action shots. It's fun to, to see like, oh, I, I actually remember where that game was. I remember that oh, game. Right. I remember that play. This is old hat for some guys. The years go by in a hurry. This is at least the 14th card that Bronson Arroyo has appeared on, but as Sam LeCure said, it's still part of the dream. It's how many people really have a chance to say, well, yeah, I, I got a couple baseball cards, so it's pretty cool. Baseball cards, they still stir memories. Dusty Baker said he remembered you took the good guys and you put them in the box. You took the bad guys, you put them in your spokes. John Popovich, nine on your side with the Reds in Goodyear, Arizona.